Hello, welcome. Um, my name is Mark Oliver Gewaltig, and together with Alois Knoll, I co lead the new robotics sub project of the Human Brain Project. And I will give you a very short introduction into what the new robotics platform is about. And then Sandro Weber, one of our uh, engineers, is going to give you a hands on demonstration of what you can actually do with the new robotics platform. We also have a YouTube and a Twitter channel, so whatever we say will also be accessible via these channels and you can find more they are here in the presentation. Of course, what I'm going to present and what Sandro is going to present is not our own work, but rather there is a large team involved in making this happen, apart from the great team at the Human Brain Project. So here is a group, or some of the group of uh, people that have been working very hard to make this happen. There are a number of institutions in Germany, in Italy, and also here in Switzerland, most prominently the Technical University the, in Munich, the Forschungszentrum for Computer Science in uh, Karlsruhe, and the Scuola uh, Superiore in Santa Anna um, in Pisa and the EPFL here in Lausanne. So the Neurobotics um, platform has the goal to allow researchers of cognitive neuroscience, robotics and other branches of, of science to um, make behavioral experiments in simulation possible. And the idea here literally is to build a virtual laboratory in which virtual brain models from the brain simulation platforms, but also from outside, can meet a body model, a robot, or an actual body model, and then can be put to test in a dynamic, sensory-rich environment. And this is interesting um, for many reasons. So one is that it allows researchers to interact with each other in the collaboratory. But the other is that we have typically two types of models which somehow stand at two extremes. So one are theoretical models that explain us how certain cognitive or motor or behavioral capacities um, come into existence, and the other ones are data-driven models. And what we really try to get closer is a way to bring these two extremes together. So how do actually cognitive architectures developed by scientists around the world stand up to a test uh, when they meet the anatomical and the physiological realities of particular brains? This is so far an unsolved question. And then in addition, we have the constraints imposed by the bodies of the respective animal. And the new robotics platform, we hope, will give researchers a tool to approach these questions in um, a uniform way. The modeling workflow has three elemental steps. The first step is that you design your experiment that is, you choose what type of brain model you want to have, what type of body model you want to have, and what type of task and environment you want to bring this combination in. And then you have to bring the brain and the body model together. This is already a scientific part because you have to really choose which brain areas, for example, are responsible for receiving signals from your sensors or which brain areas are responsible for producing motor output with the body. The third part then is actually running the experiment, and this is where most of the technical um, solutions of the new robotics platform come into play because we have to orchestrate different types of simulators to make this possible. The new robotics platform has a number of tools that guide you systematically through these steps. There is a robot designer which allows you to create body models and also uh, the kinematic, uh, kinematic models that go with it. There is an environment designer that allows you to create virtual environments in which your um, virtual animals can then live in. And there is a brain-body integrator that allows you to work on this, diff this difficult task of bringing the brain and the body models together. And then finally, an experiment designer that allows you to script in a very versatile way the actual running of uh, the experiment. 
The, at the core of uh, the simulation are two uh, established simulators. One is a nest simulator for the brain models that we are using, and the other one is a gazebo simulator for robotic systems. So we are building on top of highly uh, tested and well-established uh, tools that we bring together in two forms. Either you can use it via the web, via the collaboratory, so you can um, log in, try it out, watch our videos, and then try it for yourself. Or if you have a local installation, you can run the neurobotics platform on a power wall that is a display wall or another um, immersive environment. And now I switch over to Sandro Weber from the Technical University, and he will give you um, a demo of the features of the neurobotics platform. 